Okay, I've got a, um, I was going to say Husqvarna, it is actually a Husqvarna because Flymo uh, bought over Husqvarna and uh, I believe this is a mixture of the um, Husqvarna 105 and some of the Gardena. But anyway, um, so this is a Flymo 1200R and it's been running about 3,700 hours and had 1,100 charge cycles. Um, and it stopped working. So uh, it just stops dead in the middle of the lawn when it's cutting. So um, uh, I'm going to uh, replace the battery and show you how to do that. But just before we get there, what I'm going to do is swing around here and show uh, how I know it said 2,300 hours of cycles, uh, sorry, 2,300, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember what I'm saying. I'll just get on with it. Okay, so there's an expert menu in here. There, There's the on switch. We'll turn it on uh, and I'll put the pin code in so that... Um, So that uh, we can get the expert menu, show you how I know that. Okay, so more was lifted, fine. Okay, so um, what you do, you go to menu, and then you press 7 and 9 together for about 2 seconds. You'll see the menu change. There we go, expert mode. And then you see this little spanner thing here, press that, and you can come down, and you've got your, as you know, we go to info, whoops. There's all kinds of interesting stuff in here. Uh, to, uh, so we go down to battery, and that's a, that's the battery there. Um, the voltage looks okay. I don't think 1100 milliamp hours is quite enough, but I'm going to replace it anyway and see if that works. Now, when I did look online, I saw that the batteries that were available had various milliamp hour ratings. And some people who changed their battery had sent them back because they didn't realise that the milliamp hour rating was important. So that's actually why I'm taking the battery out before I order, so I can see the correct milliamp hour rating on those batteries. Um, and I was going to have to find out how to open this thing up anyway. So let's come out of that. Um, let's go to general. Yes, I was going to say about how I knew how many charges it had had. There were a general, and what was the other thing? How many charges and uh, total mowing time? So to total number of charges is about 1,100, and total mowing time is 2,300 hours. Uh, no, it's not that one. Where was it? Uh, general. Oh, I thought it was general. Maybe it's not. No, let me see. There's something in here that shows that. Oops, sensors, wheel motors. Let's try general again. No. Uh, it is in here. Battery. No. Oh. Of course, it's on the main screen, I think. Yeah, 3,300 hours. But somewhere it shows you that it's... Uh, trust me to be uh, doing this the hard way. But anyway, let me go on with taking the battery out. You, you'll, uh, those numbers I've given you are correct. So we'll just turn it off again. Close that. Turn it off again. There's the on-off switch. Off. Right. And I'm going to flip it over so that we can um, see the underside. Okay, so here's the underside. And uh, there's the battery cover. I believe it is. I believe I'll find a battery under there when I open it. I've taken one of those screws out already. I've loosened that one. And these are torque. Oh, let me get some for. They're torque screws, and they're, you need a 12 bit to get that off. And there's four. There's four of these. So you've got one, two, three, four. And this hole here. Uh, facilitates you getting into the other ones. So let me just uh, put, 
pop this in. Yep, that's it attached. Screwdriver on there, get that off. If I brought the Makita tools in, this would be a wee bit easier, but it's not, not a big job. Okay, so that one's out. And we'll get that one out. Okay, so let me check. I've got all the screws, nothing's missing. Three, one of them's on the carpet here somewhere. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, four screws. Right, so let's pop this cover out. Yep, there's a battery. There's a, oh, and there's also a firmware update port with a USB C port. Now, some of you might not know, I suppose I'm pretty sad, but that is a USB sort port. You can get a USB connector that will connect to that. So that's how they do a firmware upgrade. So let's see how this battery comes out. Uh, I'm guessing I just tug on this Velcro. Oh, there's another... I'm going to turn the camera off and work out how to do this and I'll come back and I'll show you what I did um, when I turn the uh, camera back on again. Okay, so here's how we get the battery out. That's the battery in there. You can see it says 18 volts up there. We know we're in the right place. Now tugging on this Velcro strip here doesn't work. Um, and you can see there's a screw, a torque screw down there, number 12, there at my index finger, uh, what you do is you release that screw in the battery, uh, the little plastic plate below the torque screw pops off and the battery pops out. So let's just do that now. Just aligning the torque driver with a screw, that's done. Now to get the screwdriver on top. I've already had this off, I did it before, just to be sure before I started filming that I knew where I was going. So that's the little plastic plate that pops off. Um, does it say anything interesting? I don't think so, just some serial numbers. And then we pull the Velcro, Velcro strip there. You just give it a tug. Oh, that's better. You just give this Velcro, my hand's getting in the way of the light, just strip a tug, and the battery pops out. There we are, that's it. So there we go, there's our Husqvarna battery. I was quite surprised that there's, it's not a bigger battery. It looks like there's just four, four cells in there. Um, they look a bit like 18650s to me, if you know what they are. They're the same, I mean, these are the same batteries that are used in the Tesla. Tesla's got about 14,000 of these uh, cell sized batteries. Um, but let's have a look at the label here just to check the milliamp average. Remember, we were seeing about 1100. Let me try and get this in focus. Yeah. Okay, this pack should have 2100 milliamp hours or 2.1 amp hours, same thing. Uh, 18 and a half volts. Well, I was seeing 19 earlier, but I was only seeing 1100 uh, milliamp hours uh, five, six minutes after it came out of the docking sta station on a full charge. And there's our uh, watt average. So, made in Poland. Oh, there we go. That's even better. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh yeah, and you can see the connector pins up there. I'll see if I can get closer. I'm not sure you can see those. It says something TR and plus. I've got my specs on so I can see that. But, oh yeah, that's actually a T. Oh, minus T, R, and plus. 
Um, and you can see those accord to, you can see there are pins in there. So there's minus T, R and plus. Um, so it's quite neat. I'm glad. I, I thought I might have to take the whole thing to bits to get to the battery, but they've thought this out well. That was, that was easy. So what I'm going to do now is take this little unit apart. Oh, there we are. There's it. There's it in nice big letters. You can try and get focus. Minus T, R and plus. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to open this up a bit and let, let's see what's in there. We might as well. Okay. Okay, so this thing's got some tape around it. You can see the tape. Um, it's also got um, these tie wraps. Uh, there's a bit of wiring, kind of minor wiring harness stuff, but nothing huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel that tape off gently. I'll have to put the phone down to do that um, because I don't think I can... I need to get something to mount this phone, I suppose, but I don't do this often. Okay, I'll, I'll peel it back and then we'll have a look at what's underneath. Okay, I've peeled back the, um, the what is really just super quality gaffer tape. Um, and it's not really allowed the thing to come apart. But th this, um, so there's the super quality gaffer tape around it. What I was hoping was I'd be able to see exactly what those batteries are, their rating, etc., by uh, peeling back enough. You can see some stuff there. Uh, you can see a QR code, but there's not quite enough. Oh, try and get focus. Sorry about the focus. It's an old camera. There's nothing. Old phone. There's nothing I can really do. Um, but uh, this thing at the top, I'm going to release that by cutting this cable tie here. Uh, Okay, now let's see if this will come off now. Okay, these are indeed dating 650s. Uh, we can see, I don't know if you can... Let me try and prop it up. There we are. Let's see if I can get... You can just about see 18650 there, version 3B. Um... I don't know who's made these batteries yet, uh, but the other thing is you can see there's a battery management circuit board down there. Um, there's a bit of electronics in here with this pack. Um, you can see the... Oh, well, maybe you can't. Anyway, there's a printed circuit board at the base. What, that's what all that tape and stuff sits on. Um, so let me see if I can find out more. Okay, I've established that uh, these are Sony batteries. Um, the code there, I don't know if you can see it, it says US18650, so US18650 version 3B. And when I googled that number, um, what I got was... Uh, so there's our battery, it's the same one, clearly. Sony V3B18650 battery, um, and critically, it's got the same rating as stated on the pack. So if you wanted to, you could order up some of these. Um, I don't know where you get them from, uh, but um, let me see if I can find out. So I've had a look online now, um, and... I've seen people on Amazon reviewing um, these battery packs they've bought for the Husqvarna 105. Of course, we know that uh, the Flymo 1200R is actually a Husqvarna. Um, and um, what they did was they bought the, a battery pack, the right form factor like this, but it had the wrong milliamp hour rating. Um, I've just remembered the name of this brown uh, insulating tape here. It's called Kepton tape. Anyway, u useless information. Never mind. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is show you my search online to try and find something meaningful. So you can see I've got a load of 1200 hours uh, batteries there, but none of them have the right rating. And this one here is the... That one will work. It's an original Husqvarna 
uh, it's sold as a Flymo battery pack, so it's going to be fine. But like you, uh, sorry, like me, you probably don't want to pay 150 quid for that. So um, let me just see if I can. Uh, I've got some other tabs open. Um, so I'm going to do a search here. Uh, that is. Uh, so that was the problem I was having. Flymo 1200R stops dead. There was nothing on here. I gave up pretty rapidly. So um, what uh, I'm going to do is Google search for uh, Flymo 1200R battery. Um, battery. Uh, 1200 um, hey, H. There we go. See what that comes up with. Okay, so, well, 40, 40 is fine, I suppose. Now, you see, it's 1500 milliamp hours. It's useless. There we go. That one should be fine. 1200 milliamp hours. Forty-three ninety-five robotic lawnmower replacement battery. There's a critical bit. That'll do. Two and a half. Um, it's overrated, which is fine because the thing won't draw any more current than it needs. Uh, so, vo so as long as it's got enough capacity to deliver current, and the voltage is uh, fine, so it'll be an eighteen volt pack. There's no doubt about that. It'll be fine. So. I think I'll just go and go ahead and get that. See what it says. See if I can read that. It's an 18 volt, 2500 milliamp hour replacement power uh, battery um, for Husqvarna, Goderna, McCulloch, Automore. Um, I'm 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 going to try that. I need to just get this done. Okay, I'll I'll maybe post something up later to say it works, but I can't see any reason it won't. So. Um, this thing's destined for the bin, I suppose, the battery bin. Um, but yeah, just to show you one last time, that's the this label there, 2.1 million powers, this corner. Um, yeah, and it wasn't easy to get that out. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.